Waiting for the Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, members of the Fourth Estate. Firstly, let me begin by apologizing for the delay in starting. It was not our fault. Uh, Zek had raised various technical issues that have a bearing on the announcement that's about to be made by the People's President, Advocate Nelson Chamisa. It gives me huge pleasure to introduce to you the Chief Spokesperson of the party. But before I do so, let me acknowledge all the members of the standing committee that are here present, uh, particularly the Secretary General and all our, the Vice Chairperson of the party and all our members of the standing committee who are standing here today. Uh, we have consistently said as the MDC Alliance that this is a year of launching the biggest political campaign that this country, the region, indeed the continent have seen. So, without further ado, I'm going to defer proceedings to the Chief Spokesperson of the Party, uh, the People's President, Advocate Nelson Chamisa. <laughs> Thank you very much, um, members of the press. Let me take this opportunity to first apologize for a late start. This is not on account of our own delinquence or ineptitude. This has been occasioned by Zek. This afternoon we approached Zek to give them what they didn't expect. We are not approaching ZEC as MDC Alliance. We are approaching ZEC as a new organization. So they kept on insisting that, look, we know you as MDC Alliance. They said, but who are you to tell us who we are? We are a new organization. Anybody launches their party anytime in terms of the laws of this country. So for that reason, we are coming as a new entity with a new leadership, with new values, new structure. Alas, they wouldn't have it. We want MDC Alliance. Tell us that you are rebranding. We are not rebranding. If you know MDC as a brand, please dine with those whom we have given MDC Alliance. We are a new party. Nothing to do with the past. Nothing to do with the yesterday. We are starting afresh. We will build from ground zero. We will start afresh. We will defeat them like we did in 2018. We will start afresh. Yes. They wouldn't take it. They had meetings after meetings with our senior leadership. We have given them our new logo. We have given them our new name. We have given them our new leadership. We have given them our new trust, except our new strategy. 
But everything else, we have given them in terms of the dictates of the law. So we're expecting them to cooperate. We're even ready with our new candidates. They recalled our old candidates, but we've come up with new candidates. Some of them were in the previous organization, but they're new, newly born. So thank you for bearing with us. We have wanted to start right on time because punctuality is a characteristic and an ideal of serious revolutionaries. So once we say three o'clock, we have to start at three. I want to apologize on that account. We couldn't come here without that response. But after all is said and done, they said, fine, we have now received your letter, and we want to see your constitution. They said, the constitution we have. It's a brilliantly written document. It will help you to understand who we are. So we have new everything, new headquarters, new names, new constitution, a new mindset, a new thrust, and of course a new focus and a new philosophy. The philosophy being to focus on the citizen, making sure that we replace the citizen in all the discourses that we have seen, eliminating the citizen. So that the citizen is back to the center. The citizen is responsible for decision making, policy making. Every decision must be centered on the citizen. That is where we are going. Where you have politicians taking over, we want the citizen to come back so that we displace politicians and replace them with the citizen. That is who we are. So behold the new. The new is upon us. And the new I deliver. We have always said that we are building the new. And we have now built it. It is here. It is there. And you are going to see it. We keep moving forward. We have opened new doors. We have listened to the people of Zimbabwe. This is not an easy decision. The people have told us, please leave the dirty past alone. Focus on building a new, fresh future. And I'm the face of that future. I'm ready to lead the charge until such a time and point when then people say, we are giving the responsibility and honors to the other one. Our focus is to champion transformation on behalf of Zimbabweans. So our key thrust is to deliver the platform of transformation. We have said that there will be no confusion. We do not want any confusion. Those other people came after our name. They thought that they had taken MDCT. We said, have it. They said that they had taken Tsangara. We said, have it. They thought that they had taken our headquarters. We said, have the headquarters. They thought that they'd taken MPs, have those MPs. They thought that they'd taken our finances. Fine, share with Mr. Mnangagwa the bed. But I can tell you that it's not a bed of roses, it's a bed of thorns. It's a matter of time. They've taken literally everything. But thank God, we still have ourselves. So we've lost everything except ourselves. That's why we are building on the basis of ourselves. Nothing to do with the past. Nothing to do with any wrangles. If you want MDC Alliance, as you have said, take it. If you want ourselves, tough luck. You can't have us. Because we are not purchasable. We cannot be sold. We are convinced that our conviction to bring change to Zimbabwe is unshakable, is indomitable. So as I say, Zimbabweans, citizens in Zimbabwe, know who their leaders are. They know who their champions are. They know who champions their struggle, the struggle for better wages, the struggle for better salaries, the working class struggle in this country, student struggles in this country, women's rights struggles in this country. They know who stands for the citizen. They know who is the face of hope, the voice of hope in this country. Those in ZANU-PF know it. That's why after stripping us naked, they still come to us. And we say, look, go to those whom we have given the borrowed robes. They don't even believe those robes. They still want us, even naked. So because of that, we are very clear. We are charting a new course. 
and today represent that new dawn, a bright future, a start of a new trajectory in Zimbabwe. We are the gold standard. We are the reminder that it's possible for the sun to shine once more and once again in Zimbabwe, and it will shine. Yes, a new great Zimbabwe is being birthed. But as you know, even in the biblical times, whenever there is a new level of anointing, there has to be a new name. From Jacob to Israel. From Sarah to Sarah. So we are here. We are not just having a new name. We are also having a new entity and a new organization. And a new people. The leaders you see have been renewed. We have left the past. The vices and transgressions of the yesterday, we have left them. And we are saying, we represent for you hope, happiness, joy, freedom. Hope is what we stand for, and hope is our other name. We represent ideas, solutions, the mosaic beauty of our Zimbabweanness. That's what we stand for. That is the vision we wish to usher into this country, a great new Zimbabwe vision, which we are going to share with the rest of the people. A vision that spells glory for our journalists, glory for our workers, glory for our civil society, glory for every citizen, glory for those who matter to care, including those in politics. But the beginning is to do with transformation. And our nation is only going to be transformed when we begin transforming ourselves from within. That is the process we've just begun. And it has to do with politics, our political culture, our manners, our values, our habits. Toxicity and negativity have destroyed the fabric of our country. We need to move away from that. And we will transform in values, in norms, we will transform also in how we approach things because we are transformers. We will transform lives in communities. We will transform lives in the country. And that is what we stand for. Because of that, let me say, because we are building the new, we are also in the process of building a solid A team. A team that cannot be defeated. In fact, 2023 is already a done deal. We have done it. That's why they are shaking, jumping from pillar to post. They know that the game is on and the A team is ready. Of course, there is a by-election. It's a sideshow. It's a side meal. But because we are people who are enjoying and waiting for the great you know, feast who go for that side meal as an appetizer, as a starter. But never mistake the starter for the main meal. The main meal is in 2023, and we are ready. Yes, we will share our vision. We will share our dream. We will build the momentum in the country. It's already there. The people have spoken. The people want change. I've listened to war veterans. I've listened to traditional leaders, chiefs, crowheads, headmen. They have told me. Farmers have told me. Business people have told me. We want a new game in town. Help us. Look at what is happening to our fellow Zimbabweans. Embarrassed and harassed in the neighboring countries. Zambia, South Africa, Botswana. We need to restore the dignity of our people. But that dignity is restored by having an organized institution. Away from the clutter and confusion that we have seen. And Mr. Mnangagwa, thank you. You have helped us to clean our basket. All the bad apples, you have taken them. Enjoy the meal. Thank you. <laughs> what is our central philosophy? As I conclude, the citizen back to the center. The liberation struggle was about the citizen. One man, one vote. The liberation struggle was about the sovereignty of the people. The decision of the people being allowed to take center stage. That's what the liberation struggle was all about. Umtuanu <laughs> Son of the soil was about the citizen. That is where we are going back. The politician has replaced the citizen.
We want to remove the politician from the center of decision-making, policy-making, law-making, so that we have the citizen. The politician must be a servant, not the master. And the citizen must be the master, not the servant. That's where we are going. It's not going to be easy. It takes a lot of sacrifice and pain by those who are used to the old ways. Of course, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But there are times when an old dog has to become new in their approach. And that's where we are from a leadership point of view. Citizens have to be at the center, as I emphasize. It's a citizen-based philosophy. That's why our party is restoring the dignity, integrity, the responsibility, the authority, the voice and dissent of our voters, the voice and dissent of our citizens. Citizens are the engines that turn the turbines of a nation. When you get citizens in the right mode, reconstruction becomes easy. And that's why we must listen to the citizen. And that's why the new outfit has a perfect and beautiful name. Beautiful to even have a meal with. Or for those like blessing who like wine, to have a nice drink for it. The Citizen Coalition for Change. Once again, the new baby, the Citizen Coalition for Change. We have left everything. Color red, take it. We have a new color in town, gold, yellow. Hello, yellow. We said, oh, you want the chisa, mbama chisa? Fine, chisa, longe. We are focusing on the new. And we're going to introduce the new. We've said we are number one in the country. Oh, yeah. We are number one in the country. That's why we have been fought. Because champions are fought by mediocrity. We are number one. This one. We are number one. I saw some people saying, ah, oh, no, it's not a symbol. This is just how we greet each other. We are number one. You can't stop us. You can't stop us. You can't stop us. You can't stop us. It's a done deal. That is the direction. Of course, we'll unveil all the other things, programs, the necessary colors, and all the other values that we have to share. But it's a big tent. It's an omnibus. Everybody. Come, let us reason together. Come and join this great movement, a citizen movement. Come and join this elephant and a giant of an organization. No more are we doing chisa, what, what? No, no, no. We have moved. It's part of our history. It's no longer part of the future. In fact, the MDC cannot be the government of this country. In our old self, in this current state, or future state, the future is here. We represent the new government. Yes. You are looking at the new government. Oh, yes. And we are ready to go. <laughs> Thank you, colleagues, members of the press. I'm so humbled by the number of journalists who have come. Thank you, and may God bless you. May God bless Zimbabwe. Thank you, Zimbabwe, for your patience. I appreciate. You have waited. We told you the baby is coming. You wanted to see the baby. So yes, citizens, coalition for change. We are having citizens coming together. It's a citizen affair. It's a citizen endeavor. It's a citizen decision. It's a citizen way to say we want change in Zimbabwe. Yes. So farmers for change, we want to see what you are doing. Teachers for change, we want to see what you are doing. Lawyers for change, we want to see what you are doing. Accountants, we want to see what you are doing. Miners, we want to see what you are doing. Vendors, what are you doing? Workers, what are you doing? The church, what are you doing? Every Zimbabwean must be organized for change.
Yes, the by-election will come. Like I said, it's a curtain raiser. It's very important to participate. That's why we said we are participating. To make sure that we also see what's happening. We test our systems. We also expose those who are biased. So yes, one who will be checking on Zek. This time we will not allow Zek to play and join the other team. If they do so, they are setting this country in a motion that is irritable. I'm not threatening. I'm giving a promise. We will not repeat the mistake of what we did. That way, after winning, you abuse us. After winning, Munangagwa has not won the election in this country. And you know it. That's why he had to be served in the courts. He did not get the mandate of the people. And because he has suffered from illegitimacy, that's why he cannot solve my problems in Nikai. They want to say, ah, Munangagwa is a solution to this country. Give him a chance. We have given him a chance. He has squandered every chance. Oh, Munangagwa is good for business. Business is stinking and sinking because of Munangagwa. Oh, well, Munangagwa is open for business. He is shut for business. You have seen it. And we are ready to give you that key to the future. We are the door to the future. We are the way to the future. What CCC, Citizen Convergence, Citizen Coalition for Change. Because we are converging all citizens. This is where we are. And I'm so happy for those who have come. Thank you very much. And I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm going to take just a few questions. Just a few questions. As usual, may you kindly just identify yourself, give us your name, your media house, and one quick short question. Yes, sir. Uh, Tafmani from uh, Fly Media. Uh, is it the norm that when you submit a new name, they ask for the election manifesto, or is it the first time it has happened to you, or is it what happens to everyone else who goes to register to say? Well, a, a constitution, I suppose. There is, it's not begged by the law. It's whims and caprices. But it's also panic. They were expecting us to come with MDC Alliance, to come with MDC, so and so, and then we are entangled in numerous and endless legal fights. We are no longer interested in that. We're a new baby. Thank you. So it's, it's not the norm. But I think it's being done because they are panicking. But we don't understand why Zek would panic on behalf of our opponents. Yes. Because our competitor is not Zek, it's Zanu. Yes. yes, we know they share a Z, but please let it end there. Thank you very much. You've heard the president of the Citizens Coalition for Change. They are panicking. Yes. <coughs> yes. My name is Blessed Mutanga, News Day, HSTV. Um, I, I just wanted to note that there are still MPs in Parliament Indeed. who who back uh, who have been backing your leadership. Uh, one of them was just behind you. Now that you have changed uh, your party name, does that not affect this continued stay? Uh, in <laughs> Certainly not. That's what we have told you. We have told you that we are putting the citizen back at the center. It is the citizens who voted the MPs who are in parliament. Yes. Nobody has the right to timber with the mandate of the citizen. Mm. If they so choose, so be it. Yeah. Yeah. And these MPs are not worried yeah. because they were chosen by the people yeah. and not by these pretenders, yeah. tricksters, and deceivers. Yeah. They were chosen by the people. So we are not going back. Yeah. These are tough decisions, yeah. and we are ready. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Does a thief stop being a thief because there's a new police officer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, police. <laughs> Two more questions. Are there any women journalists amongst us? Where's the question? Okay. Um, if not, 
a gentleman at the back? Yes, Anna is here. Thank you, Bruce. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> After a prolonged fight for the name MDPC, can we safely say that we have accepted the thing? My dear brother, let me tell you, <clears throat> there was never a fight. Yes. So you constructed a fight. In the Herald at ZBC, yes. you constructed a fight at Zanpev headquarters mm. with your Barakashi Twitter <laughs> handlers. That's where you constructed mm. that fight. There's never been a fight. Yes. But there's been confusion sponsored by the state. Yes. And thanks to Tokozani Kupe for telling us what has been happening behind the curtains. Mm. That there's been a honky dory affair between our colleagues, our SY colleagues, and Mr. Mnangagwa. And that, whatever has happened, is sponsored and coordinated. That's why for the first time you see a purportedly opposition person going to have tea at State House. Not that is bad. If there's mutual respect, that's how the nation must go forward. No country is governed by one side. In fact, countries and governments are two sides the leading party and the alternative party. Mm. But the problem is that Mr. Mnangagwa has been trying to shoot at straws, mm. creating his own government organized opposition. Mm. We don't have any problem here. People know the alternative. Yes. The opposition and the government are defined in a general election. Yes. In 2018, the people defined who should be in government. It is us. Yes. But they went to the court and switched sides and brought us into the opposition. We said, fine, we know that legitimacy is always going to buffet you. Yeah. When you have a legitimate problem, you can't solve potholes. Yeah. When you have a legitimate problem, you can't fix roads. Yeah. When you have a legitimate problem, you can't even fix the salaries of civil servants. Mm. Because you don't have the contract with the citizens. But if you give us just a week, Bruce, you'll be driving a beautiful car caters of the new government. That is who we are. So there's never been a fight. Historical fights shall continue to be there where they belong. If you leave your house, Kusarakwa Adongo, but I no longer stay there. But Kuno Tandangos. our newly found home. But we have a new start. In any event, it is a shell. Without us, there's nothing there. Look at it. You know, watch the space. I know most of the colleagues who are there, I know them, their capacities. I worked with them, and I wish them well. Are you living behind the in the Koma? That one we want, this is the Mkomana, so you can't leave. Yes, yes, sir. The young man is here. Advocate Amisa, um, you say that uh, everything now is new. Indeed. Um, there are certain statements or allegations that have been made in the past that. Uh, your party, MDC Alliance, that is now left, was infiltrated heavily. Now we have started a new thing, a new baby has been born. Is this new baby coming with the heirs that are coming from the past to be infiltrated? Well, is, uh, who is going to deputize you? Who is here? Just say they're the president. Who are you deputy? Well, you, you, you'll have <laughs> the right step at the right time. Yes. You will see the leadership structure, you will see everything. For now, you are seeing the head. Yes. Don't ask for the neck. Mm. There can never be a head without a neck. So there's enough organ structures supporting this head. But we've just shown you the face. Yes. Now we are saying, no, we want to see where is your tail. <laughs> we are a beast. That's going to fight for change in this country. <laughs> we've shown you our face and the other organs you will see. Beast legs and the beast tail, everything. But now you are talking about infiltration, you know? Nobody infiltrates an ineffective organization. Mm. What it shows is that we are, we, are, we are a big game changer in this country. Mm. 
If you look at the money that has been spent on fighting us and destroying us, but guess what? We are still standing. We have withered the storm. You would build a new town or a new city just to divert the resources that have been deployed against us. They will continue to try and infiltrate. Any living organism can't live without infiltrating external viruses or bacteria. But it is our inbuilt immune system that is going to save us. And that is born from the philosophy we have of the citizens, but also the conviction we have, the purity of the heart and the purity of our minds in terms of fighting for change in this country. We have not wavered. Some people have said, have you abandoned Shangri's legacy? Far from it. Shangri's whispers are still very fresh in my ears. And that continues to be the inspiration as we go forward. It's not about the institution. It's about his hope for the future that we continue to care. But of course, the past we bury. The future we construct. I hope I've answered. Thank you. Yes, sir. In the blue, and then we'll come back to the gentleman. Okay. I think let's have three last ones. Just three last ones. We've had a nice afternoon. Yes, sir. Okay. My name is Tumay from ENC. Thank you, Tabitha. Thousands of Zimbabweans are flocking to South Africa uh, searching for jobs and better life. What's your comment and what's your way to them? Well, this is a very serious issue. As a symbolism of the people of Zimbabwe saying that this is the opportunity we have for change. When this young man gets in, our issues are resolved. <laughs> they know our competences. They saw what we did in the inclusive government. We fixed the ICT problem right now. You know that you go everywhere with coverage, though we are still to do so much. We will do it. Give me a chance, Mr. Mnangagwa. One week you will see this country different. You will be the first beneficiary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, fellow colleagues. May God bless you, and may God bless Zimbabwe and Africa. We love you. The journey begins. Shandukom <laughs> Zimbabwe! Shandukom Zimbabwe. Shandukom Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. 2023. A great new Zimbabwe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 I <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.